Hi, I'm Joseph Kern, Instructional Designer at Emporia State University. In this video, I'm going to show how to access your Panopto recordings other than having to go to the Panopto recordings tab and looking for that. So it might be easier for your students if within a regular module, they can just click on your content page. And when they're learning about whatever content you put on there, you have a link to the Panopto recording, or even better, you have the recording embedded into that page so they can view it within there. Or you can build in a, a page made for Panopto recordings. So for viewability, this might be your best option just because it has a larger screen for them automatically. And it also has the notes and bookmarks and comments parts built into the page. What I'm going to assume is you already know how to make the video. Uh, if not, uh, the uh, support.panopto.com uh, slash videos page uh, will help you out a lot. In particular, just the recording button should get you started, or you can ask me for help. So if you want to have a content page, uh, what I did here was just add a content page, and this would be, you know, along with whatever notes or, you know, basic ideas you want to convey to the students about this topic. So I would hit new page, I can give it a title, So on the page, it'll be blank when you first open it, you hit edit. And what I like to do is have multiple tabs open with the Canvas course because it's really easy to click on the side and you just lost everything you have been working on. So I open another one in that course and go to the Panopto Recordings tab on the side there. If you don't have it there, it might be that in your settings, you uh, I don't know if you have to add it or if you may have removed it, uh, but if something's not on the side here in navigation on the settings, it might live down at the bottom. So I couldn't find mine earlier. It was because it was down here. I would just have to drag it up to that spot. So from Panopto Recordings, I want to, if that's my video, I want to share and have a couple of options. Uh, first off, when you go into it, you have these folder permissions. Uh, I don't actually know if viewers automatically mean students, or you may have to say anyone who can sign on to this site. And so, yes, anybody who can sign on to this class site, now they can access it. I really don't know. You can try and see without doing that if your students can view it. But it, up here it puts the link. So in this case, I'm going to copy that. If I just want to like I have here, just have a hyperlink to it, or I can say go to the Panopto video. So I could either just paste that link there, or where I say, oh, put a space after this, that way it knows you're done and can add the hyperlink, or I can highlight that and say, when they click on that text of go to the Panopto video, I'm gonna paste so clicking on the text will take them there, or clicking on the link will take them there. That just usually looks cleaner. Okay, the other option within a content page, I can put that embedded video. That's done a little differently on outputs. If I scroll down a little bit, I have the code. So that's the embed code for that. I copy that after selecting them, all of it. Now, if I just put this code in here and hit save, it treats it like text. It doesn't know it's supposed to be code. So let's go back and edit it. We delete that. We have to go into the HTML editor, which looks scary, but all you need to know is I'm just going to paste that there and hit save. And now that's sitting right there. I can go in and edit it within that HTML editor. If I want to make it bigger, we have the width, we have the height. So I could change this if I wanted to. I can make it 600, oh wait, 900 by 600. And it'll be huge. But that's what it can look like if you put that within a regular content page. That other option, 
back in modules was to build a page specifically designed for Panopto recordings where it has those extra little features off to the side. If you want to do that, under the module you hit plus to add some content and you're looking for Panopto there but it's not going to be there. You need an external tool. So of the external tools, these are add-ons that we have for Canvas, so like Canvas pack things, but Panopto is one of them down there. So I'm going to add a Panopto recording. I'm going to go back into my recordings because I need to have that URL. So I copy that. And I have to skip down a little bit and add in that URL. I can also title the page whatever I want to. And then add the item. So going into today's lecture. Hey, there it is. So a couple of options here for how you'd want to add Panopto into your Canvas course. If you need some help, uh, email me jkernadamporia.edu and well, see what I can do. Good luck.